certainly is uh, uh, a very important part of my background because, well, um, spending these very important years for me in, in Denmark and growing up there and studying music in Copenhagen too, growing up with singing the Carl Nielsen songs in school and and playing his music. Um, I played um, his piano chacon for exams, piano exams, um, and learning learning the symphonies too, and, and, and reading lots of his music. It's 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 been it's been very forming for me as a, as a composer. I, I think I don't listen to that much music in general today, other than music that I don't know. It's getting very difficult to just enjoy music that I like. It's it's really it gets professional immediately. And um, okay, I know this now. Let's let's let, let me find something that, that I don't yet know to explore that and see see how this composer does these uh, uh, things. Um, so currently, I don't listen very much to it. But uh, yes, he's been very very important for me and at a certain point, point in my life. It's difficult to say what it would. Be that makes it Danish, but I think we we all feel that way, don't we? It's uh, yeah, it's a strange thing about music in general that you can talk a lot about it and you can analyze, and yeah, there is so much um, such a broad, huge emotional impact to it that has something to do with associations and feelings. We totally know when something is Carl Nielsen and when it's Sibelius, and we really know when Sibelius that, that, that is finished is something completely different. It goes towards this Nordic Scandinavian, uh, Scandinavian gesture, of course, but it is something completely different anyhow. Something about his temper, something about the the nature landscapes that he evokes. It's very difficult to describe, but yes, it's clearly Danish. No, not in this, um, not in this particular um, case. I used the Carnelson song for my third symphony simply because um, for quite some time, I, I wanted to use that particular song, and uh, for whatever reason, the way that the material developed during working on the symphony, it uh, it felt that that was where where it for, would would fit in. I had before that thought maybe to use it for a viola concerto or to use it for the horn concerto because that is directly connected to the um, anniversary. But it somehow made more sense to use it there, and then if, if that's the way that the material is taking me uh, artistically, then I felt that that was the right thing. And now with the horn concerto, I'm I'm yes, just following sort of where the material is carrying me right now, and it's more connected to the the idiom of of, of the horn, the um, Yes, the language sort of that, that the horn gives gives to you by itself, and to see how, how how can we use that today in a way that it doesn't get too much uh, the cliches of hunting or the fanfare, which um, also has associations of, of of war or all these sort of things. So, what what of these these cliches can I use? For me, what is too dangerous, which will be too 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 easy, too stupid, too uh, whatever. Um, well, it's difficult as a composer to to um, to realize which part is actually the instrument and which part is is the tradition, because of course a, a horn can play lots and lots of other. Kinds of music, they can do many more things than just the beautiful Richard Strauss melodies and all that. And um, so that is the horn tradition, but it is not necessarily the, the instrument per se. So to find out for me what what, what I can use the horn for, um, with incorporating that, of course, but also with not just 
building solidly on this, but um, trying to find my own ways ar around the instrument. That's um, that's the process of, of working. Uh, one of the most interesting things is that the horn is so close to the human voice in um, in many ways. It's, it has this large range. It's very close uh, connected to the breath. It's a very rich thing uh, to for, for me to use it as you say human against the machine or. Uh, the naturalistic elements that the horn also can evoke um, to use these things. So yeah, there, there's lots of exploring um, how, how to use the language in a way that makes sense to me. Right?